Hi Gemini, welcome to your new love reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, this is meant for you, the Geminis out there that are looking for new love in particular. It uh, is for the time period of August, September and October 2022. Could bleed a little into November as well. So let's take a look here, Gemini. Who is on the agenda for Gemini? Who's next up? <laughs> Batter up. I'm getting that energy. Batter up. Hmm. Baseball may be a thing. Okay, I may meet around the time of uh, baseball season. Um, let's see. I'm going to uh, dive right in, Gemini. Who is this person? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That one jumped out on the floor. Excuse me a moment. Gemini. Cards are popping. This person. Let's see what their deal is. Okay. More information, please, for Gemini. Who is this person that is coming in for Gemini? And we have two. And yeah, cards are going to pop out right away for you today. I like it eager to tell you let's get some tarot down as well i want to see how you will see this person how will my gemini see this person that's coming in for them how will gemini see this person okay how will this person see you so let's see the opposite how will this person see gemini and the potential outcome between these two please spirit the potential outcome, the likely outcome between these two. All right, Gemini, <sighs> buckle in. Temperance, okay. The High Priestess, wow. And the Empress, oh, wow. A very high vibrational energy. How they will see you, how you will see them, I beg your pardon, is the uh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so a turnaround. How they will see you, the moon, well, I'm not surprised with the, this High Priestess energy. And the Hangman in reverse. Hmm, a little tricky. Let's talk about it. First off, I want to talk about you and how you see this person. Seven of Swords in Reverse. What I'm getting here is a lot of secrets. Now, interestingly enough, I actually feel that you carry a lot of secrets here. This person probably does too but I get Gemini you you are a bit of a mystery to this person mm. okay now I see a lot of attraction absolutely but gosh this is really hard energy to to get to get into because it's it's so hidden. It's like trying to peel layers off an onion, and my eyes are <laughs> watering <laughs> because it's it's like stinging. So there's an energy here of something that is stung. It could be a Scorpio, of course. Uh, I'm not ruling that out, uh, but. I feel like there's been pain associated with with this. It it does feel like a return. It does feel like a return. I feel like this is this is the past coming back, Joe and I. Yes, now you're either coming back to to make amends or they are. Uh, it's all very hidden at the present time. I'm going to dive deeper, but before I do, let's get some more information about this person, Gemini. Who is this person that is coming in for Gemini? Gemini's next love. Gemini's next lover. Who is this? Pisces. Any, is it any wonder? Oh, this air of mystery. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It's very watery. Uh, it's keeping quiet. Uh, there's a lot of depth of emotion here. Emotions are running high. I'm getting that. Emotions are running high, but it's all very hidden. It's beneath the surface. Uh, lots of mystery surrounds this. Let's see, what else does Gemini need to know? Um, you may have Pisces, uh, I get po possibly Pisces Moon, but it doesn't have to be that uh, in your chart. And we also have Mother and your ex here. Uh, so we've got, this is, this is an ex coming back. And with this Mother energy, with this Empress here, you're either a mother yeah, I get you may be a mother. Now, for some of you who are cross-watching, I get that this is a Gemini coming towards you. <laughs> Just to make it interesting, guys. But I get a very strong energy here that there is a feminine energy that is a mother. Has a child, at least one. Possibly more, but I get at least one. I get mother and son kind of energy, but it doesn't have to be specifically that. Now, this is an ex coming back. There is a... Um, like an element of uh, knocking at your door, the past comes calling, and let's get some characteristics of this person. If there is a little bit of shade, there's, there's a, some shadiness here, like a, um, there's something here that you can't quite, can't quite put your finger on, it's not quite what it seems, um, this person, Mm, let's see, what are the characteristics of this person that is coming in for my beautiful Gemini's characteristics? Teacher, now they could be a teacher, lit quite literally. Or they do something here. There's some, some kind of karmic element that I'm picking up here about uh, negative traits, destructive skills. I mean, you can see it here with the hangman in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. It feels like repeating a past pattern. Um, Gemini. There seems to be an ex of yours uh, who wants to repeat a past pattern. Uh, they're stuck in a loop, uh, like in a time loop. Uh, this is an ex, someone who hasn't uh, gotten over you. Gemini, let's see, I have to do this deck in two parts, it's so huge. Can you show Gemini some more characteristics, <coughs> excuse me guys, of this person that is coming in for Gemini, characteristics of this person. Okay, hero, heroine, escapism, and a false sense of heroism. Hmm. There's something about this person escaping reality. That's why I find it... Look, I just have to be honest, guys. I'm, I'm getting kind of a... Um, not, not a great grasp on reality around whoever this person is. A lot of, the, a lot of it's fantasy, illusion, um, something that they, they've imagined, conjured up. Uh, that exists between the two of you or existed between the two of you. There's an energy around the feminine here of being the unattainable, uh, someone who is hard to get and there is uh, somewhat of a, uh, a martyr energy that I'm picking up here. Uh, this person tends to martyr themselves um, when it comes to like wanting to be the hero or racing in to be the hero, wanting to save people. Um, and you probably don't even need saving, Gemini, you know. It, it's somebody who, who has this kind of, um, who wants to be seen as a hero. Uh, but it's, 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 it's not reality. It's not reality. You don't, you don't need saving. Um, some, of, some of the feminine energies here may be a single mother. I'm picking that up. And this person is attracted to single mothers who needs who they think need saving, but you know that's uh, 
yeah, be careful of energies around, around this because I'm I'm getting I'm getting that this person is somewhat fixated fixated on you, uh, Gemini. It's it's an ex coming back around. Now, how you'll know this person? You probably already recognise them just by that. But uh, let, let's see. What are the physical characteristics? What does this person look like? What does this person look like? This person that's coming in for Gemini. Okay, they may have a skin condition. Uh, that could literally be anything. From sunburn to something more severe. Okay, what else? Spirit. Uh, they could be Hispanic or Latino or have, or, or you may be that with the physical characteristics I, I, I get them as a blend so some of them could be you, some of them could be the other person so take it as it resonates guys. Um, one of you could be from a Latin, a Latin American country or have Latin American roots like um, um, Puerto Rico or uh, uh, or any one of those countries but I specifically get Puerto Rico okay what else here what else how will Gemini know this person someone has brown eyes again could be you could be the other person A square face And someone, okay, so one person here has a square face, the, the could be the feminine, the other person has more of a, a baby face. Uh, there's this masculine energy, may, and it's not about sex or gender, it is about the energy, but the more masculine of the two here uh, appears to be, at least look younger than their years. Um, I am getting that. Okay, one more here. How will Gemini know who this person is when they come in? And someone is a brunette. Okay, you could you could both have a brown hair. Now, how else? What are the other indicators of this person? What are the other indicators of this person coming in? You're gonna. It's gonna be a surprise, a mystery as to to why this this person is is showing back up in your life here. Uh, Gemini. This person is physically active. They may play sports, go to the gym a lot. Okay, one person has brown eyes, one person has uh, blue eyes. Uh, they have an imperfection in their speech. Okay. Now again, that could be anything. It, it could just be the mispronouncing of a word uh, to something more uh, severe uh, or they may have had an imperfection in their speech when they were younger that they've overcome and one more how will Gemini know who this person is how will Gemini know who this person is okay this person is very attracted to like a mother energy I feel that they had a very strong mother motherly influence in their life and that that person is someone who is very strongly a very strong mother I get that a strong woman um, I have to be honest I get that the more the more masculine energy here is is uh, someone who is a bit more submissive I get a more submissive kind of energy um, like this is someone who wants to come in and help, like help mother. Um, they like to be seen as someone who is the savior, the hero or the heroine of the story. They cast themselves in that role. And they, they, they see someone who is a mother or like this mothering kind of role as someone to, to help. To it's, it's a template that this person has. Okay, and they seem to be coming coming back in here 
this X and they, they've got Pisces in their chart and uh, this person seems to have a not a great grasp on reality um, Gemini okay one more how will Gemini know who this person is how will Gemini recognize this person how will Gemini recognize this person has a personal pride for collectibles so they may collect something in particular whatever that could be and uh, let's see what else you need to know here Jam. Gemini who is coming in here for Gemini what does Gemini need to hear uh, okay you'll uh, get this as you the dating queen this is uh, you have a lot of opportunities you, you get a lot of, of dates uh, so yeah I feel this is this is one of the people that that's coming in for you uh, Gemini but you have a lot of people kind of in your orbit uh, to choose from so you don't have to choose this particular person but uh, they're showing up in your reading because they're still very much in your energy uh, but this is an ex but you do have other people you do have other options so uh, check out your other sign placements here to see if those other options show up in those okay and uh, let's get a past life card for this uh, there's some kind of something here that needs to be closed out I feel with this person let's take a look at what that might be for Gemini with this what's the deal with this this X coming back spirit What's the deal with this ex coming back? Okay. Um, what I'm getting around this is that they seem to want to, to. They're looking for a place to live. They don't. They don't want to live where they're where they're at. Um, this person may be displaced or will soon be displaced, and I get them looking for a place to live. I don't feel that they want to live alone. I'm getting that so they're looking for a place to live uh, they may even want to move in with you uh, Gemini for for a time okay um, interesting so I feel that's the reason why this person is coming back to you are they looking for a mother replace they, they look it seems like there's something in their life something that they're not revealing has recently come to an end and it may have something to do with their living situation and so they're looking for like a replacement someone to to, to look after them um, yeah I would be a little bit careful about that but uh, guys your choice and it is your choice because you've got other options here Gemini coming in for you absolutely I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store Gypsy Insights Tarot and purchase directly uh, the link is down below um, I'm getting a message from spirit here at, at the end that some people may have um, that d disease that um, where someone's uh, um, uh, of a, a darker complected but um, it, it it may have like a, what is it for I don't even I can't even pronounce it um, it's some kind of skin condition that spirit is, is showing me the picture of it but it's not telling me what it's called and it's when the, the skin turns a different color than then you, you birth skin or well, there's something there uh, that I'm picking up that that's for uh, for some of you not all of you okay wish you the best with this Gemini please do take a, a moment to press that thumbs up button and uh, share me on your social media if you know a Gemini with and you think gosh that sounds like my friend or my sister or whatever uh, please share this video with them and drop me a comment down below and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you subscribe Gemini, I'm making a change to my Band of Gypsies, my channel membership. At the top tier level, I've added a new tier. At the $50 level, you'll gain access to me 30 minutes each month that you remain a member for a personal reading with me. So if that's something you're interested in, 
You can click on the join button below for more information or look in the box for the link. And of course, uh, lower tiers than that, access to the extended readings, early access to the YouTube readings and also donation as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. Wishing you the best here, Gem. Please take care and bye for now.